One of the ways in which you can gauge the expected payments from ARC County and PLC is to use sample farms at APAS. APAS is located at the website shown here. There's also a link on our website. And what the sample farms will do is estimate payments per base acre for three sets of prices. CBL prices, FAPRI prices, and USDA prices. Generally, though not always, CBL prices are more optimistic than either FAPRI or USDA prices. What you can do quickly with APAS is come up with an estimate of which program, ARC County or PLC, will have the highest payments for a crop. When you get to APAS, this is the screen that you will see, and we want to go into Sample Farms. Here you can select a sample farm for a state, and I'm just going to go to Illinois, a county, and once you make that choice, you will go to Estimates of ARC County, PLC, and ARC Individual Payments for a sample farm in that county. This sample farm has 482 acres of corn, 382 acres of soybeans, and 5 acres of wheat. When we get to expected program payments, we can see what the program payments are for CBO prices for ARC County, and this would be if all crops are in ARC County, ARC Individual, PLC, and an optimized program where we choose the, the, the crop with the highest program payments. Here we want to go and we can look at each crop, so let's look at corn. Here under CBO prices, ARC County on one year and five year make higher payments than PLC. We also include SCO down here, and SCO is estimating if we bought SCO at an 80% coverage level, how much it would pay over its premium. If you want to minimize the amount of SCO payments, increase this coverage level, and then you're looking at the case where ARC or SCO is at an 86 to 85% coverage level. Here under these CBO prices, we see that uh, PLC is projected to pay less than our county. We can look at the prices that are used. CBO prices used 450, 3, 450 in 2013, passed, 350 in 2014, and then $4 and a rising price through 2018. USDA will use a 350 price in 2014 and then a little bit rising, but all of those are in the low um, low or mid 350s. So let's go you look at USDA prices. You can see here ARC County over this five-year period is projected to pay on average $21,845, PLC 21. At those prices, the payments are pretty close between um, ARC County and PLC. If we then go to FAPRI prices, which are sort of in between USDA and CBO, we can see expected payments as well. So you can see here, um, at those prices, ARC County is projected to pay more. You can do that for soybeans and for soybeans, we never see ARC County at these three sets of prices being less than PLC, and then you can go to wheat as well. Here, wheat, CBO prices, PLC is projected to pay more than ARC County, USDA prices, more again, and at FAPRI prices, still more. So this gives you a feel that for wheat, you might want to select PLC if you want to maximize payments. For soybeans, Art County. And for corn, probably Art County. But if we get down there to lower prices, they're fairly even. Un under prices above in the mid, mid 350s and up, Art County is likely to make higher payments. This is a pass tool. You can go to any state in any county and look at program payments for which there is quite a or some some production that we have enough data to make those calcula calculations 
Again, the sample farms, you can look at expected payments given CBO, FAPRI, and USDA price projections.